Hello and welcome to another SQL tutorial. With relational databases comes the term objects. A relational database consists of many objects. The most common example of a database object that you are likely to come across when you are learning SQL is a table that you will use to store data in the first place. But there are a number of other objects that this video will give a brief description of so that you can start understanding the technical language that you will speak as a database administrator in future. A number of these objects are visible and there are many others and you'll have to understand how to create and use these objects with the help of SQL. A view is a logical structure that projects data from one or more tables or views as if it was only one object. So this is a view that is projecting data from two different tables. It is projecting employee name and salary from EMP table, two columns only, and it is projecting department number and the department name from department table. And these are dynamic objects. If you make a change here, the change will be projected in the view. Index is an object that increases the retrieval speed of data. And you'll have to understand how to use this object as well. A sequence a sequence is an object that generates incremental numerical values to insert into a column rather than user keeping a record of what numbers have been issued and what is the next value for a column. These are auto-generated numbers. Synonym. It is another name for an object that is already present in the database. So if an object has a difficult name for you to remember, you can create user-friendly names with the help of synonyms. Constraint. A database object that enforces the limitations on what data can be inserted into a column. For example, if you define a column as primary key column, you cannot duplicate values in that column. Another example, gender values that may be inserted into a database table. And by using a constraint, you make sure that gender can either be male or female. Users won't be able to insert any other values other than male or female if you use the constraint. Partition means a database object that represents a part of the table rather than the whole table. Table in some databases can be cut into partitions making data retrieval faster by eliminating portion of the data that is not required for a particular purpose. Data can also be stored in more than one physical location, for example, on two different hard disks. So data, one table can be stored on two different hard disks and it will again make it easier for data to be retrieved quickly. Cluster is a database object that allows data from more than one table to be physically stored together, again for faster retrieval. A stored procedure is a set of instructions that allow to perform a particular task. SQL statements are embedded in these programs, which often perform, perform looping and branching. This cannot be done by using SQL alone. A trigger. A trigger is a stored procedure that is invoked when a particular event takes place in the database. It cannot be invoked manually and you'll know about all these uh, database objects as we actually use them it's very difficult sometimes to understand about an object with the help of just definitions as soon as you start using them these definitions will make more sense a function is a stored program which returns a value and can be used in a select statement instead of a column name column name is written within the brackets so sum is a function and salary in this example is representing a name of the column from a table within a table called employees. So this function will give you a sum of all salaries of all employees in the employee table, employees table. Package is a group of stored procedure and functions under a common name and blob a binary large object in simple words these are database objects that store images videos and large amount of text very important to to know to work with these objects in current environments example a database that stores digital x-rays and ct scans and mri images in a hospital have to use blob defined as a column in tables but the data is not stored in tables these images or videos will be stored in separate segments. Thank you very much.